A few weeks ago, I posted a review of the Rockler Mini Deluxe panel clamps. Um, I said they were, they worked, but they were a little bit fiddly, and a couple of commenters agreed with it. One commenter said fiddly is the wrong F word. I've now uh, glued up eight panels with them, and you know each of them has these multiple strips, so I'm going to try to pass along a few tips to make them maybe a little less fiddly or a little less frustrating to use. Just to get oriented to these things, um, there's two rails, the blue rails, and two sets of, of clamps, I guess you could call them, the clamping mechanism. On the rails, there's only one notch that's vertical on each side, and that's where the threaded side is going to go. So I'm going to call the, the side of the uh, mechanism with threads on it the thread side. I'll call the other side that has no threads on it the tail side. So I line these things up with the thread side on that vertical notch and the tail side in the first notch all the way over on the right. And you can see the notches on the bottom are pointing down. Um, the notches on the top are going to point up. So you get your sticks in there, get them lined up. Um, now before I put the glue on, what I like to do is open up these clamps all the way because if you keep opening those clamps you can see that um, you know they, the the clamp surface raises that's going to make it easier to insert the top rail so only after I've gotten these things set up with the um, bottom clamps and that vertical notch and the the tail side clamps on the notch all the way on the right side only at that point would I actually glue them up now, I haven't glued these at all because I'm just doing this as a demo. And what you do after you've gotten them all glued up is you're going to insert that, um, that top rail. Um, I don't insert it all the way at first. You'll see in a second here, I only insert it until just before the vertical notch and just bef on, the, on the thread side and just before it goes into the mechanism on the tail side. So I'm not quite going to insert them all the way, but I do have to make sure they're oriented properly so that when I'm going to clamp them, you know, that vertical notch is going to end up um, in the thread clamping mechanism. So there I've just put it in part way. I do the same thing on the one in the front, keeping it properly oriented as well. The next step is going to be to thread the clamps through the tail side. Um, and I'm only going to want to thread those through to the first notch um, over on the right hand side as these things are oriented. So I'm just going to slip it so both the top and bottom uh, clamping mechanisms are in the first angled notch all the way over on the right side. You can see there I am fiddling with it because the darn things are just kind of fiddly to kind of get them in there. But now I've got them lined up so that they're um, on the same notch. So this happens a lot when you're inserting the thing, you know, and you're trying to hold the um, mechanism up with the screws, it's easy to insert it the wrong way. So just be on the lookout for that. It obviously has to go in the middle of both of those arms. So once you have those tail mechanisms all lined up on the same slot, it's pretty easy to push them forward as far as they need to go depending on the width of the panel. For this example, I had to put them in the last slot. They won't go any further. They're just on that last slot. Both the top and the bottom uh, of that um, clamping mechanism have to be on the same slot. And obviously, you know, the left hand and right hand sides it needs to be symmetrical on the all on the same slot and in this time it was pretty easy because it was just the last slot there was no other slots it could go in and it was going to be pretty obvious it would if it was out of alignment if your panel is wider it might not be quite so easy to tell if they're in alignment so um, at this point um, the, you know the next step is to line up the uh, uh, the panel strips how you want them lined up and start clamping down and this this will tighten them up um, to the clamping mechanism. I think you'll see in a second here I kind of say you know if this was a real glue up I'd want them to be all straight and I want to do that before they're fully tight. 
but then you can tighten those down, take a hammer if you need to, to get everything leveled out and then bring them perfectly flat. So I think they do work okay. I think they can be a little less fiddly and frustrating. Uh, thank you, hope you like and subscribe the videos.